No, no, you are pointing at me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, I'm pointing at the car. <laughs> Can you please buy this for me, please? What? Hey everyone, we're at Super G on a Friday and we got Shane Collins binding the AD, what is it? Team, a Team AD Rhino Racing chassis to his remote so he can give us his thoughts on it. All right, Shane's about to go on track. He's gonna give us his initial impressions on the Team AD Rhino Racing custom chassis that we did. It's not really custom, I just called it that. All right, let's, let's see. Oh, what the? Oh, dude. <laughs> I didn't. Ah, <laughs> uh, what a rookie move. It's not my car. So this car is usually bound on my remote, but Shane bound it on his US limited edition Utava 10PX. Oh, yeah, you probably need that, huh? All right, take two. We're about to go on track again. All right, let's see. Let's try this again. A little more um, front grip on this car. The tires are fresh. Yeah. So... Yeah, we're all looking for a little bit more front grip, but the tires are brand new. But other than that, overall it's pretty, it's pretty good. Yeah, so we're using the stock Super G Spec Jarvis XX tune right now. It's not our car, so we haven't messed with the ESC tune. Oh man. It's pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, I think if we cut out the the front slide like that, I think this thing is going to be next level. Okay, I thought we were just gonna swap tires, but Shane wants to swap wheels. It's quicker. So we can have more red onto this already <laughs> I red didn't even think about that. chassis. Look at that, more red. Oh, you can't have enough red. Cinematic shots of Shane working on a car with his yellow finger. I was painting, okay. Yeah, but that's a that's a Washington car. Oregon. <laughs> Oregon. <laughs> same, same state. <laughs> don't, don't, beat, don't beat me up. He's got a turbo. Extra extra. All right. We put used tires in the front. Because we don't want to wait for it to break in. How is it, Shane? Much better. Oh, yeah. It looks smoother and it hooks. It's my better. The broken in tires? Yeah. 
the red looks good with the red chassis too. It matches the red Super Drip Championship stickers that Joey put on. All right, so addressing the Team AD car, there's a lot of questions on what you use from an RDX. So this car specifically does not have any RDX parts on it. However, if you do have an RDX and you want to run this conversion kit, which is the chassis, the bulkhead, the IFS system, you, you, use, you, you reuse your transmission, you can reuse your upper, and lower arms, including the suspension mount. So basically you can still run this, you just put the stock plastic RDX parts on some of it in order to complete the build. Another question that came up is whether you can use the internals of an RDX transmission on a shark transmission. So all the idler gears are the same. You would just use the uh, the mounts that are provided by the Rhino Racing transmission in order to mount that. Uh, to put to connect this transmission into this chassis though, like I said in the previous video, you need this adapter piece by Team AD and that allows you to build a Team AD Rhino Racing Shark build. Alright, it, it's show and tell right now. We got a, what is this, MD1? MD. Is this MD1? All right, we got a shark with a really big pinion and a small spur. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's how you use it, you know? <laughs> uh, so this car, this car just got a Futaba setup on it today the CD700 and a GYD550. Let's take a poll. What's your favorite body on this table? Leave it in the comments below. We got a, turn your body the other way, Chris. The other way, dude, come on. All right, so we got an orange Z, a Cybertruck. It's a Corvette. <laughs> uh, lightweight GR86. This slide customs GR86. A another Z by Josh G. And this S14 Zanki painted by Joey of Super G in that battleship gray color. Honestly, I I, I, I think I think the cyber truck's gonna take it. Yeah, right here, right here, right here, we got a cyber truck. Cyber, cyber truck. One of the things I'm messing with right now is the camber link for the rear. So as you can see, I just use a turnbuckle directly into the shock tower and into the rear hub instead of using the actual upper control arm. Okay, this is my competition final form shark. I haven't really driven it since round one, so a little bit rusty with it. But, huh, something about it. I spent the most time on this car, like prior to round one, so it's just a car that feels right to me. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know what really to say about it other than like I built it 100% for me so like some people can't drive it and I think that's okay. It's like you should be tuning it for yourself not others. So tune it for the best of yourself. Alright I'm gonna do another qualifying run because I messed up. Because you get two, you get two tries. So who else gets nervous during their qualifying run? I used to do it, but not anymore. I kind of learned uh, not to drink like coffee, sodas, or my favorite is Red Bull. 
during competition days because it makes me jittery and then I mess up. But yeah, that was a qualifying run. I don't know what you would rate that score. <laughs> but yeah, it is my comp car. Thanks, Chris.